Anything Tatters, this is Marcy. So I'm doing today's video on how to look the best for summer, how to feel good and look good for the entire summer. Even though it's August, we still have some summer months left. And so these are just gonna be my quick tips on to keep you guys motivated, looking sexy, and having a good time. So the number one all time on everyone's list, hence what I'm all about, is working out and staying fit. That is the top of the list, and it really doesn't matter what time of the year it is. Uh, especially the summertime though, it's a little bit more fun. You get to go outside and do some of your uh, activities. So of course, running and walking and cycling and swimming are pretty uh, much of the big ones that people do. And then again, you can get off the treadmill, you can stop looking at the TV in the gym, and you can just go outside, go early morning, go late at night, go with the spouse that might not ordinarily work out with you, and just have a good time with That's a good time, again, to get out of your norm and do something different. So definitely working out is key. And then in addition to working out, it's that opportunity for you to try something new. So if you've never gone to take a yoga class, or if you've never gone to take a Zumba class because you don't like to dance like myself, maybe that's something that you should do this summer to keep you moving, to keep you lively and feeling great because you might go in there and hear your favorite song and totally start dancing and everyone's gonna look at you like, no she didn't. Okay, so that's just an idea of something you can do in terms of your fitness. And another cool thing about fitness is that you can do meetups. There are, um, there's a website called meetup.com if you wanna check it out. And it is pretty much a website that will allow you to meet people in your area with common interest. And so there's totally a lot of groups pretty much that you can choose from. So just go ahead and check it out and see if you can meet it with different people. Or you might already go to a gym and you might get a group of women or men to just hang out and do something out of the ordinary. Of course, uh, such things as hiking is cool. And then uh, I'm a big vacationer when I can. And so I like to just go on Groupon, Living Social, one of those uh, websites and go to like a quick weekend getaway. And that is like a great way to get out of your norm, to do something different. And it's gonna feel great because anytime you get away, I think the body says, yay, I'm getting away from work, I'm getting away from stress. That's just a good way uh, to get out of that norm. And then also, um, just keep in mind that in terms of working out, I always send on Sunday a weekly workout schedule. We've been going two weeks strong now. And I just hope you guys just really get on it and, and listen to what I'm telling you to do because it really does work. I've created each of these workouts myself. I do each of these workouts right along with you guys and they work and that's how I stay fit. So I encourage you to just keep pushing through it, keep motivated and at least it's free and someone's telling you each day what to do. So what not a better way to get in shape um, sent to your email every week. So that's just something you can sign up for on my website, okay? And the last thing about staying fit is uh, you need to, I like yoga, so I'm gonna say you need to do yoga. If you don't like to do yoga, if you don't believe in yoga, then I would say just stretch. Stretching is very, very important. Why? Because first of all, a lot of us sit down all day and we get stiff and our bodies are not designed to sit down all day. And then secondly, a lot of us might be runners or avid athletes and or we might just be new to fitness and our body is extremely tight. Okay, so all the things I just listed are uh, ways that your body can be very tight and the only way to loosen your body is to stretch. Okay, so while you might go run and say, okay, that was my stretch, that's actually not your stretch because while running is good, it's good for your cardio, your bones, everything, uh, it's actually making your body tighter. So you really need to try and stretch all the time and yoga is a great way to do that. So again, try a hot yoga class Class, go with your friend just try it it's the summertime and speaking of hot hot yoga you get it try and do something new and you might have a great time with it so while you're thinking of working out doesn't the next thing uh, come to your mind is to drink more water okay it's the summertime and I think the sexiest way to walk around in the summer is with your water bottle not alcohol not coke not a whole bunch of unhealthy stuff so if you were able to get like a really trendy water bottle and say this is my drink and I'm and I'm walking around with it that's gonna be a better fit for you you're gonna feel better and every time you look at someone do you not think hmm they're drinking water they must be pretty healthy I mean the average person in the summer does not walk around with water I walk around with water everywhere okay I might look crazy but I'm hydrated and I'm feeling good so that's another thing that water is gonna do for you it's gonna make you feel good all the time Another neat thing that you can do with water is to go ahead and put some fruit in there. Okay, there's so many water bottles out there now that have a filter so that you can put your fruit in and just let the, um, the juices of the fruits come out and you can just pretty much drink naturally flavored water. You should really try and get away from those artificially flavored drinks. So the entire pretty much row in the grocery store, I'm sorry, but you need to really skip it. Okay, you need to make your own or drink regular water and call it a day. If you do that, even though these artificial drinks say, oh, you know, no sugar, no calories, trust me, it's not healthy for you. Why? Artificial. 
you get the gist. Okay, so that's something else that you can remember about um, water. All right, so now we have working out, we have stretching, we have drinking water. So what is the next thing? Duh, you have to eat right if you want to look fit and look good this summer. You have to feel good about yourself. And so in order to do that, you need to be eating good. And so what I constantly try and do, which we got one going on now, is to have you doing these diet challenges. These diet challenges keep you on track. And if you incorporate it into your daily living, you're surely gonna see results, you're gonna feel good, and you're gonna feel more better about yourself. So again, staying fit and eating clean is very important. And eating clean, I've done my grocery store videos. I want you guys to really focus on staying on the outer rim of your grocery store. I want you to load your body with fruits and vegetables at all times. And the cool benefit of eating healthy is your body loves it too. Why? Your skin looks better, your hair looks better, it starts to grow, it shines, your nails are stronger and thicker, simply by putting things in into your body, which is the neat thing. So the two ways to detox, okay, very, very quickly. I've already discussed one. So if you're drinking a lot of water all the time, if you're drinking healthy teas, you're detoxifying your body, which is what we need. That is totally awesome. Another thing during the summer, which is cool, is um, being able to go outside and sweat or sweat in the gym. I'm totally cool with gyms. So if you're able to just sweat and get all that saltiness out of your body, even if you sit in the sauna, it is a great way to detox. Now that it's the summertime, we're able to go outside, sweat, you know, go throw the baseball, you know, just go for a walk and it's really fun. All right, so my next tip that I try and stress all the time is while it's summer I know we want to party hard but we really need to go to bed earlier we really do and again I have incorporated this since I've been married I've been going to bed an hour early and it feels amazing you don't even know it until you try it okay so if you can try it I mean for a week you will I promise you not go to bed early every single night unless your show's on late at night you can always record that but going to bed earlier you're gonna feel better about yourself you're gonna have more energy to get your work done you're gonna perform better at work you're gonna get better grades it's going back to school trust me sleep is great and we need it so this next one I like to say to stress less and take deep breaths okay so stress is not good for anyone I've done a video on stress before it's just it wears on your body it makes you tired you not only look tired but you feel tired you have a cranky attitude nobody wants to be around you and it's the summertime it's it's sunny it's nice and we don't want to be stressed okay so a couple ways to be not stressed is to one you got to have that diet on track because if you're eating crap you're going to continue to be stressed and continue to feel like crap okay I want you to try and hang out with more people get in these groups go work out go meet some people um, there's tons of websites online um, again meetup.com which is a neat one you can find different groups of people in your area with common interest just to get out of that stressful state and get hanging out with friends and family is a great way stress or not stress just to have a good time and another simple way for stress is to smile okay so if you just simply smile um, it will I mean you can't be stressed and, and smile all the time so if you just practice smiling at the person that walks by you in the store or at work you'll be surprised at how different you feel about your day all right so I'm not a big fashion guru or anything but one way to feel better about yourself is to simply dress up dress up in what you like now when I say dress up I don't mean go get decked out in a prom dress I mean just get dressed up in what makes you feel good so for me, for instance, I will be wearing my Hang Tight Mercy shirt probably all summer. I will be getting these out to you guys soon on my website. I'm working on it, trust me. And again, I like short shorts. It's the summertime. I work my legs out, so do you. And you should show them. You should wanna show them off. So these are like my shortest shorts that I have. I don't wear them often. And then I have a Hang Tight with Mercy tank top. So if you know me by now, I love tank tops. It's a great way, again, not in a cocky way, but to show off your arms. You know, you've been working hard all year. You wanna look good in the summer okay so again that is just one way to um, make yourself feel better you can take yourself shopping and buy something new buy something different I'll tell you a quick story when I went to Miami if you did not see my videos already I went to my Miami for the game two of the NBA finals and I was wearing these shorts and I was wearing a bathing suit top and this girl out of nowhere came up to me and said oh my gosh you have a six-pack and I'm looking around like where is this girl coming from because I didn't even see her coming she literally came from nowhere and so when she came her six friends came and they were like poking my stomach because I had a six pack even though I know I have a four pack. But it was just, I mean, that's just an example of, I mean, people are looking at you and 
you should want to just feel confident about yourself. So if you're wearing nice stuff, if your body's fit, you're in shape, you're looking good, you're, you got your little tan on, it's the summer, you're going to feel better about yourself. So I fall guilty of this, maybe I want to try, and I kind of started early in the summer. Another way to um, kind of spice up your body, your, your lifestyle to make you feel better would be to maybe change a hairstyle. It's the summer, most people go short, okay? And maybe you want to flip it this summer. Maybe you want to grow your hair long and try different updos and, and go out on dates with cute hairstyles and stuff. That might be another way just to make you feel better about yourself. All right, so those are pretty much my quick tips on how to look and feel good this summer. Um, like you see on a ton of posters out on the internet, and it is pretty much uh, start working out now, stop saying you're gonna start tomorrow because more than likely you're not. So you need to start now, start now, start now, feel good, hang out, have a good time, drink water, eat healthy, hang out with friends and family, smile more, go to bed early, and you will feel better, I promise. And if you don't, something else is going on, trust me. But leave your uh, feedback in the comment box. I wanna know what you were doing this summer to feel good, lively, and healthy, and I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Alright guys, head over to my website for more fitness talk videos, plus check out free recipes, hundreds of workouts, motivation, and much more. And while you're there, go ahead and sign up for my free newsletter for exclusive news, giveaways, and a free workout plan. Don't forget to subscribe. I talk to my fans daily.